Welcome to a new Let's Play. <clears throat> the first Let's Play that I'm going to be commencing on my shiny new Xbox One X. And ironically, we're playing a 360 game. Um, that's very much indicative of the whole Xbox One family, really. Um, the Xbox One itself, eh. The Xbox One X, very, very impressive piece of kit. But it has no games. I mean, we've got Halo, um, Gears of War, and um, Halo, and uh, Gears of War. But its strength, for me, the reason I brought the machine, is because huh, a woman, obviously. Um, yeah, I actually stumped up for one just to play Halo with the lady, um, and no regrets at all. Halo Five, I actually really enjoyed. We played that multiplayer. We played. Th we're playing through Gears of War multiplayer as well and the Master Chief Collection <gasps> so good but the strength of the Xbox uh, is its backward compatibility and it's fucking awesome so yeah really enjoying the system but it's just a shame to have so much power packed into this pretty fucking cool piece of hardware but no games um, never mind, hopefully that will change eventually, one day, who knows. So this is Prey. Uh, I was considering doing this on the PC version, but I don't have it on the PC. I thought I did, I thought I had this on Steam. I did search it up on Steam, but it's no longer on there. Um, you can get the new Prey, which by the way was an absolute fantastic game. Um, but this is an interesting game for me. This game had so much hype, so much promise behind it. And I think it actually delivered. When I was eagerly, eagerly waiting this game back in 2006 when it first dropped, my launch... Now I think by that time, two, yeah, because the Xbox 360 came out in 2005. Uh, in November, if I if I remember correctly, in 2006, by the time this game had come out, I'd already had two or three of them, Red Ring of Death, on me. Yeah, because uh, over the course of the 360's life, I had about 13. Um, and I'm not joking. I'm a huge fan of the Xbox 360. I thought it was a fantastic machine. It was my favourite machine of that generation. But yeah, I had about 13. Uh, it was only when the... Admittedly, I did break two of those myself. One was a can of beer. I think my ex broke one as well, with a cup of coffee. I think. But the other 11, yep, yeah, all fucked up. Red Ring of Death. Um, and that was the first games console that I'd ever had that had malfunctioned. So, interesting stuff. Now, when this game first came out, I was waiting for my 360 to come back from being repaired. And I remember I was so hyped for this game. I actually, even though I didn't have my 360, I went down to the shop and I bought this on launch. And when I came home, my 360 had been repaired and, and dropped back off. Well, refurbished unit or something had been returned to me so that was really really happy and uh, I was really happy and I sat down and I fucking loved this game I sat down and I finished it from from start to finish in one sitting I started playing at about 9 in the morning and I finished it at somewhere around 10 or 11 little bit disappointed in the length of the game but then the next day I did run the game again I thought, I'm going to go do it on a harder difficulty. And guess what, guys? Guess what? What do you think happened? My brand new replacement Xbox 360. It red ringed. So, I've had bad luck with this game. I'm hoping it's not going to brick my Xbox One X. But, let's see. 
This is such a unique game, and I cannot wait to play it. So, without any further bullshit, let's get into it. No autosave detected. Enable autosave feature. <gasps> we are truly in the world of tomorrow, guys. Yes. And I love the emulation on this as well. It brings it up just like um, just like a normal Xbox 360. It's so cool. And the soundtrack in this game. <gasps> listen. Listen. It's so good. But I do like the fact that you still get the Xbox One guide bar come up if you want. Which is very nice. So we're going to go single player. Ah, the other disappointing things is my achievements. I've already got most of the achievements from this game. There's only two achievements we've got left for single player, and they're both secret. But <laughs> we're living in the world of the future now, so we can look up what these secret achievements are. And they're both due to the, uh, well, we've got the Retro Gamer, because you can play retro games in this. Kind of. Arcade games. So I've got to win 250 Buckazoids on Blackjack and got to score over 15,000 on Rune Man. I don't know how hard that's going to be because I haven't played this game for 12 years. But there we go. We're going to certainly try. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's kind of weird because you push the guide button in and that brings up your Xbox One guide. But to bring up the 360 guide, you push both of those in together. So... It kind of works, and it's really cool, but it's going to take some uh, some getting used to. Now, difficulty-wise, I'm not sure what to do. I haven't played it for a thousand years. But, if I look at my achievements, I have already completed it on the hardest difficulties. So, how hard can it possibly be? Yeah, you'll have to move that because it's uh, my anti-cat thingy. Yeah. So, let's get into it. Should we try on Cherokee difficulty? I mean, I honestly can't remember how hard this game is. I'm going to be cursing and swearing my ass off through this if it's hard. Let's go new game. Let's go Cherokee skill. To unlock this, beat the game on normal skill... Well, I guess we're playing on normal, guys. I guess we're playing on normal. So, last call. The storyline for this game is really interesting as well. Tommy, Earth's savior, doesn't want the job. Tommy's such a cool character as well. When they announced the new Prey coming out, I was so excited. Um, was it the 2016 one? And then they showed gameplay of it. The world is full of stories. And from time to time, they permit themselves to be told. Hey, Tommy! What are you looking at? Real tough guy. Can't even tell her you love her. I gotta get off this damn reservation. If she'd just come with me, it'd all be different. It'd all be... Listen to yourself. Who do you think you're kidding? Tommy, get your ass out here. And here we are, guys. Now, if you can't tell already, this is a very story-driven game. Now, can we... Add subtitles. Uh, ooh, aim assist. Something that I don't generally like, but on a mm, playing on a control pad, maybe. Really? Is there no subtitles? Ah, oh, my dudes. Yes, there is. Okay, cool. Right, very story driven game. Doesn't anyone ever clean this? Well, I don't know, Tommy. It's kind of your bar, I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, gross. <laughs> well, nobody's cleaned that for a very long time. Yeah, I, I was blown away by how interactive this game was at the time. Very cool. It has a very um, Doom 
feeling to it. The uh, the Doom that came out on the original Xbox, Doom Three, if you want to call it. Was it Doom Three? Yes, Doom Three. It was actually called Doom Three, but you know what I mean. Frame rate is feeling nice. This game was a little bit janky, but hopefully on the Xbox One X. Hey, let's go see if our lady's interested in a little action. Although, 75 cents for a rubber. Ugh. Ugh, can't be very good. Let's have a little look around here. Yeah, when Prey, uh, the new one, was announced, I was so disappointed. Hey, um, grandfather. Hello. Inisi, what are you doing here? I sense great change on <laughs> I came to warn Save you. Save it, grandfather. You know I don't go for that shit. Listen, Tommy. You cannot turn your back on your heritage any longer. It will give you mm -hmm. strength. Strength? For what? To save yourself. To survive. Survive? What are you talking about, Inis? Go home. My place is here, by your side. You will have need of me this night. Sure. Foreboding Whatever. much? Hmm. Yeah, and then they actually showed off the videos for the new prey. Looks like Jen's running low on Ryan Red. Ryan Red, eh? And I couldn't have possibly been more disappointed. No, gutted, I think is a is a better better term. I was absolutely gutted that it wasn't a continuation of this game because at the end of this game when the credits roll, it says Prey will return or Tommy will return or something like that. And I was like, "Yes! Definitely want more of this universe." But what we got wasn't a continuation of this story. However, what we got was very, very good. I just wish it was another game entirely, but there we go. Anyway, let's go see Jen. Jen is our love interest. <laughs> Man, Jen's let this place slide. Tommy, you're a bit of an arsehole. I don't remember you being such a dick. Hey. Not since you two studs showed up. Hey, you sell any of that red engine shit? My wife loves that turquoise crap. This is a bar. We don't sell jewelry. Nice soundtrack. Well, maybe she's got something else for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing either of you could afford. Drink up, boys. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, man. What's up, babe? Did you come in here for a drink? Or to dump your dirty tools on my nice, clean Ooh. bar? I know where my tool can go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bar. One second, love. Okay. Let's have a little look. Indian casino. <laughs> draw yeah. poker. Which one is it that we need? Blackjack. So I've got the draw poker one. Video slots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to pick up my tools, love, okay? So this is the rune game. We need to get like two and a half thousand on... Uh, no, we need to get 15,000 on this. That's going to be pretty serious. And this is obviously Pac-Man. I shouldn't really have chomped down those power pills. Alright, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, we can do this. Yes, this game is absolutely steeped in Native American lore as well, which is fantastic. It's something that you don't often see in a video game. And uh, the way it's done in this game is so good. Right. We may be hosed here, guys. Don't want to lose a life so early. Ah, oh, no, we're fucked. No! I might have to do this off camera, maybe. Because this is no easy. Oh, you dick! This is no easy feat. I think it gets harder as well. The more levels we go through. Damn it, and we fragmented the runes. That's fine. Come on. Come on, sly. Nice. Don't know what that rune in the middle is. Hopefully it's like a massive point bonus. Shit, we nope, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, baby. Oh, that's a rune. I'm guessing runes are worth a lot of points. Oh, you dick. Hmm. Okay, so the good news is, what we might do, we might try and get those achievements at the end of the game, maybe. Game over. So we get four lives to do it. Good to know. Yeah, all right, babe. I'm coming, damn it. I'm coming. Right, give me that. <laughs> Sorry, babe. Are these guys bothering you, babe? Hey, <laughs> How about a 
couple more beers Keep over coming, here. Girl. You've already been told to get the fuck out of here, pal. Don't give in to them. Anyway, Grandad, what are you on about? What's what's happening? Jen loves you, you know. She has a hell of a way of showing it. She is Cherokee. She is bound to this mm. land. Asking her to leave is asking her to give up a part of her soul. But doesn't she want something better than this? To be among one's own people. To truly know where you belong. Mm -hmm. If there is something better in this life, I have not mm -hmm. seen it. That's because you never left. Ah, Tommy, you're such a dick to your granddad. Now, what's uh, what's interesting? Oh. Since the coming of the storm. Annie, what? Wolves. Something spooked them. Hmm. Tommy, come here. I've always said that, you know. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. It, it depends, you know. It's all about who you live with. Um... If you're surrounded by friends and all that, life can be grand no matter where you are. So can we save this game anywhere? That's interesting. Okay. So, did you think about what I said? Tommy, not this again. Come away with me. Just for a few days. Off the reservation. Why can't we just be together here? You know why. I hate this place. It's a goddamn cage. It's no way to live. This place is my home. My job is here. My family is here. Do you think you're saving me by taking me away? I'm Cherokee, Tommy. Just like you. You should be proud of that. Look, I know the tribe's important to you. It's just... It's never meant anything to me. Hey, Pocahontas. Let's have two more cold ones over here. Last call, boys. Already? Oh, hell no. That ain't right. It's time for you boys to leave. Have you been wagging that pretty little? All right, I'm getting a bit tired of you, boy. I don't think so. Hands off. Come on. One little Fucking seriously? That. Fuck off. Ooh, where's that famous engine hospitality, huh? Don't touch her. All right, then, <laughs> chief. You want it? Come With on. fucking oh, pleasure, yeah. pal. Yeah. Just get the wrench a bit of a workout. Oh. Fucked you up. I call this boy the little tooth chipper. There we go. I hope I did. Maybe I should. That's not what I meant. Uh-oh. What the hell? What the fuck? I interrupt this program to activate the emergency alert system. Please stay tuned for important information. Life breaking and news. Now, word that several similar objects are being sighted in the skies over North America. Now this is becoming Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, the, the soundtrack. Oh shit. What were you saying? Fuck me. What were you saying, Grandad? Yeah, now I think I've got time for a story. Whoa. Shit's getting real, guys. I have no idea. But we got a great soundtrack. Blue Oyster Cult. Yeah, come on. Let, whoa, what the fuck? Are you sure? Are you positive? Because I'm starting to believe in this Indian stuff of yours. Oh, shit. Whoa. Babe. Um. Well, I guess we're going with her. Oh dear. That was bad. Escape velocity and the music. The wrench is the default weapon that Tommy always has by his side. When all <laughs> when all else fails, go clubbing. Aye. Thou shall be done. Saving content. Whoa. This reminds me very much of Quake. Oh shit, at least we're together. Um. Oh. Yeah. Uh. This is probably not good. I'm just saying. Uh, at least there's some shiny reflective uh, surfaces. So we can. Oh, look, family reunion. Tommy! Jen. 
grandfather. Tommy. No, no, I can't move. Shit. No. Neither can I. Where the hell are we? What's going on? Well, what are they we're not on Earth anymore, babe. I don't know, Jen. Stay calm. I'll get us out of here. Just give me a minute. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, God, no. What the? F what the fuck are those things? Well, they've taken a special interest in us. Whoa. That's not your garden variety, doggo. Hey, look, nobody's saying anything about dying. Maybe they just want to talk. Maybe we're ascending. Let's not get carried away yet, fellas. Uh. Okay, okay, starting to not look good. Are we going to get turned into Strog? Holy shit. The fuck is that? Hmm. I don't think your god's going to help you here, my friend. Be brave, my brothers. I shall cool. you. Who are you? What are you doing? Who the hell are you? Uh, Jen, you're not helping. Breath gives life to all worlds. Help us in our time of need. Deliver us from evil. Uniqua, whose breath gives life to all worlds. Help us in our time of need. Deliver us from evil. Uniqua, whose breath gives life to all worlds. Help us in our time of need. Deliver us from evil. Jen, stop. I'm trying to think. Uniqua will hear me. If there's a great spirit, he's not. Yeah, here. I'm with you on that, Tommy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Whoa! Mysterious man has caused some crazy damage. But. Oh, no. You didn't really help me, buddy. Oh, shit. Well. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. We can, we can sort this. Maybe. Whoa! Ugh. Orifices. Ooh. Hello, tunnel creature. Could really use a light of some description. Damn. It's just like a weave of organic goop and metal. Hey, birdie. What's your name? Well, he's wrenched now. Got buttons to push. Right there, pal. Hey man, are you okay? Shit, guess I guess he's having a bad day. Yeah, off. let's just end his misery. I guess we're not going through the butt. Let's go through the door instead. Ugh. This game is very interactive, like Doom. So many things that we can fondle and touch. Oh, this place is fucked. Huh? Whoa. Okay. Mysterious man that was trying to help us is now dead. That's not good. Yeah, this is... I would say this is not human, but there's humans here. Living amongst these aliens, which is curious. Resistance group, maybe? Ooh. Ooh, my. Okay, yeah, we get like a alternate mode of attack. So we get like, I think that's an alternate mode of attack, more powerful. Hey, bud, have some Cherokee improvisation. Hmm, we have our our tooth chipper on us at least. Can't be hosed without this. Now this was one of the big relevate. Uh, what would you say? One of the big oh, oh, my head. improvisations of this game was the portal technology. As you can see, there's nothing there. But if we walk through this and turn around, <gasps> there's another world behind that gate. And this is something that's really interesting. 
It was really groundbreaking for the time. Ooh. So it looks like they've turned up and they've started beaming people up over America, obviously, because nothing else interesting happens outside of America. At least they went with a different direction with this game, with the whole Cherokee stuff. What the hell is this place? Whoa. Oh, shit. I hope he's going somewhere good. They're probably taking him to the massage room, I'd imagine. Whoa. Yeah, it's probably the massage room. Off to see Mr. Tickles. That's the only thing I can think of. So we've got two choices here. And this game looks so much better on the Xbox One X as well. Ooh. Fuck. Wow. Yeah, he doesn't look as friendly as I would hope. So that won't... I'm sure somewhere... Yeah, we've got a lighter. I want to go home. Fuck, that's... Harsh. Well, buddy, I'm... I'm gonna see what we can do via, but, uh... We can only do so much. Yeah, these aliens have mastered physics by the look of things. What the fuck is that? What are these things? I feel good. Mm. I like the way um, Tommy is so vocal. It really adds, I think. Never really have been a fan of the um, silent protagonist. I mean, it can work. It can work. But with this game, they just fucking nailed it. They got it right. Tommy felt like such a cool character, which you will see. Mm. There's Jen and Grandad. All right, guys, hang tight. We're gonna we're gonna see what we can do. No promises now. The only thing that matters is getting Grandad and Jen out of here. Right, we've only got one choice here. Ah, shit. Fucking weird dog beasts. Taste my steel. Hmm. Now, a lighter doesn't run out, but it does overheat, which actually is quite a cool mechanic, because if you've ever held a Zippo for ages, they get hot. What the fuck? Looks like something shit on the floor. Oh, dude. What the hell are they doing to these people? Yeah, tenderizing them? Wow, that's gribbly. Shit, son. Holy shit. So they're like harvesting people, I guess. But for what reason? Yeah, God's not helping you, my friend. So that's like some kind of sterilization spray. Man. And then they get like tenderized or something. And then mulched. Ugh. Guess nothing's wasted here. Shit. Well he was just pulled out of his bed. Mate, it's all an, it's all just a nightmare, my friend. It'll all be over soon. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Get that shit out of here. Ah, oh, shit, that's Jen. Um, I'm trying, Jen. I know, baby. I know. Um, fuck. Okay, we're on the way. Ah. Oh, dude. You must go. Hang on. I'll try to stop uh, this thing. Go, now. I shall go what, what are you talking about? Oh, no. no. Shit. I guess we can't save everyone, Tommy. Hunters? 
Um. Shit. Buddy, you couldn't have been like five seconds earlier? Mm. Rest in peace, Grandad. Downward spiral. Earth savior doesn't want the job. Holy hell. I'm on half an hour already. Time flies when you're having fun. Holy shit. Right, guys, and this is a very good place to end the first episode, I'd wager. So, what do we know? We've been taken away and stuck on a very, very alien installation that appears to be harvesting people. Grandad has been killed, but Jen is still alive. But Grandad wasn't too worried about the fact that he's about to get sliced and minced. Hmm. Alright. Well, guys, until then, I'll see you in the next part. Thanks for watching.